All right, so continue on from where we were last. Uh, we've just done the legs and we've uh, bridged them together. So now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to go border, and I'm going to bring it up like this and just sort of scale it. And I probably want to bring go front and then select by vert. So I'm going to scale these ones in a little bit. I'll bring these guys down. So this is going to be the main sort of pelvis part. So this really needs to come out. That's kind of his crotch. But we probably want to have a little more geometry down here first before we start going up. Especially for his ass. Yeah, it looks a bit weird, but we'll go with it. So, border again, and we'll bring it up some more, and we'll scale vertically a little, and in fact, what I think we'll do this time is we'll select this edge on either side, and collapse. guys out. So you're starting to get the shape of the pelvis. Uh, actually, now that I've seen that, I think it would be a good idea to unfreeze all and we'll object properties on these uh, references again and what we want to do is we want to go back face cull so that when we're looking at the back of them it doesn't actually display the texture so the texture is only on the polygon side that's supposed to be showing because essentially a polygon is a one-sided um, square or well it may have more sides it may have less but it's a one-sided shape it's a two-dimensional shape that's one-sided so this blackness in here if I render it you won't actually see anything. Bad example, because the background's black, but if we make it, you know, green, actually green, and we render it out, you can see through, because it only renders the grey side of the polygon. So, everything's smooth in group one. And that's, you know, starting to, yeah, the arse of the weird shape, isn't it? fix it now, it'll be less fixing later. So I think we'll just bring all this out. It looks kind of, not really, but, you know, How's the side view look? Alright, so I've got his ass coming out a little bit more than it needs to be. Oop. Left view. Zoom in there. Alright, so let's finish up this pelvis shape here. You know, I'm sure we can cheat and just uh, vertically align that now. And we'll collapse this edge again. Collapse. And we'll go 
modify selection loop and we shall align along the z-axis so yep happy with that and let's scale this all up a little bit just to spread out the whole shape of it Yeah, it's looking awfully pelvisy. I maintain this should come out more anyway. It hardly looks like an ass, but whatever. In fact, if we go and delete these two, we can then select these edges and connect. If we just select this and this and reduce the segments down to one and let's bridge it on both sides, then cap the hole. And we've got a few more verts to play with. Well, that just still looks quite weird, but we'll have to move on. God, it's taken me 10 minutes to shape an ass. <sighs> Alright, so let's just quickly finish this off. Go on like so. Hmm, it's not perfectly centered. But we shall make do. What I'm actually doing is I'm looking. Sure, we could go straight up like so, but I'm actually going to leave a few more edge loops just so that we can have more geometry to play with once we're rigging. Let's go to the left. Let's have a look. Hmm, I reckon we should come in this way. Where's the, that reckons it comes all the way in like that. It's awfully weird ass shape then. Oh, uh, the joy that is tweaking everything that you've ruined. It goes in a little bit there. I hope this doesn't ruin it too terribly. Alright, we'll just make that a little more gradual. See how that looks in a second. That's the bottom of huh. Yep, never mind, we'll leave that where it was. So sort of back starts to come out again. That's just the underneath his pecs. This all needs to come in again. fix the front some more. So that'll need to come out a little bit. Probably want this all to be about the same. And then if we bring this up some more, 
that is basically our. Yep, let's see if we can make that work. So this is sort of the start of our collarbone. We're almost 15 minutes. Oop. All right, it's starting to look a little crappy. Once we smooth it, kind of looks like it's right. And I just need to slim this down a little bit more because that's the start of his collarbone. But otherwise, it's starting to look all right. I think the whole torso bit's a little bit tall, but we'll fix it later. That's the end of part two.